this. Why not, right? Let's go crazy. Ugh, this is too long. I need to redo this. Redo. <laughs> redo because there's no way I'm gonna do three and a half minutes of an intro. It's not happening. No. And welcome back to my channel. This is like my third time recording this intro because I don't know how I blab so much that I have like three minutes into an intro. Anyway, well, was that a bird behind me? <laughs> I, um, first off, let me make this quick. I was here for 30 minutes trying to figure out why my camera wasn't connected to my laptop. Fix that. I have not filmed in over a week, guys, because I've had so I've been so busy with family things, um, just not feeling good and plumbing issues. We have a backup with our washer. Thank God it's only the washer and not the whole house. But it's been very frustrating. And I've been going woosa and then like you ever wake up and you're like, I just don't want to do nothing, but you have so much to do. That's been me every day. But let's go into this because I picked up last week the Makeup Revolution Foundation. Yes, I know I'm late. I'm late. I'm very late. I know I get it. <laughs> but listen, this is one of those things that you talk to yourself and you're like, I have too much. I don't need it. But then you're like, wait, I, I could film on this. And this is a great affordable one. And well, that's my going to be my excuse. So yeah, picked it up. I did have their um, concealer because I picked it up um, when it first came out. I actually did pick this one up and um, it's pretty good. I cannot, I will not compare it to Shape Tape because, you know, I have serious dark circles and this camouflages it, but it's not as great as the tape shape for me. So if you have a real bad, um, sorry, didn't mean to flick you. If you have real bad dark circles, um, this is the girl that you want to listen to when it comes to this. And even then, I'm still tweaking and finding things that work better. But that's what I'm going to be working with today. As far as other things from Makeup Revolution, I have this palette, which I do love. I have other palettes, but I gave them away because I don't like things sitting there. So I try to give as much away. But this one was too good to give away. That, um highlighter right in the center oh my god that is so good and the shadows are good you will see that but i did pick up when i was over there um a lipstick from them because i wanted to try it this one is called brunch yeah brunch it's a beautiful color and i was trying to think of what i had at home as far as eyeshadow so i think i matched it up pretty decent so we're gonna go in with a, a brush on one side and a sponge on the other to try to really test it out. And let's get started because I'm already at two minutes and a half, okay? Okay. So, my thoughts. <laughs> this is supposed to be, um, I think it's F7 shade. Wow, it has nothing. Actually, now it says 10 underneath. I have no idea what shade this is. Isn't that sad? They do not put, all they put is F7, so it has to be F7. Anyway, I swatched this at Ulta and it was dark. And now it's super light, as you can see. I am self-tan, and I was self-tan when I walked in, so definitely not a good match for me. <laughs> um, I did not like the way um, it blended out with the brush, so I definitely would rather use a sponge with it. This stuff dried so fast, it was unbelievable. So I would definitely just like start with little steps. <laughs> like just start up here and then we're here and then go like that because um 
it uh it definitely dried out real fast it has a very strong um kind of like an alcohol type of scent you know it reminded me a little bit of the photo focus um from wet and wild but except that has a paint smell this is like an alcohol smell something like that like it's it's strong i think that light is strong but i do not smell it um once it's on so that's good part um overall it looks real smooth what the heck am i doing it looks real smooth um it's already kind of going into my um, fine lines, <laughs> fine lines, <laughs> they're serious lines. But um, let's see if after I set it and all that, how it works. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. And I always have to use a corrector because it's that bad. There's not, not even shape tip by itself is gonna help these suckers. So let's go. <music> I look like a serious ghost okay <laughs> mind you i am self-tanned and these were products when i was not self-tanned except for this one i did buy it when i was self-tanned so i don't get what the heck is going on but um overall it blended good um another reason why i hadn't um filmed for a while is because i woke up last friday with this eye swollen I don't know if it was a product I used on my face or if it was um, something that I was making that I've never been allergic to and somehow I'm allergic to codfish now. I don't know how, but I know that I was cleaning it and it fell on my hand and I was so itchy and I thought something bit me and it ended up being that I was allergic to that. I did eat a little bit of it because I was like, maybe I'm just losing it, but I was so afraid to eat anymore that I stopped. So this eye, um, was swollen on Friday and Saturday and now it still has like a lot of dry patchiness like if it got old and renewed itself and it's letting all the dead skin I don't know but it's it's bad it's not good so overall I'm gonna look that to the side and and hope for the best um do not keep dabbing once this thing is dry it's getting patchy and I'm not liking that so I'm gonna go in with the airspun I'm trying to use affordable products um, besides the makeup revolution one so that way this could be like an affordable video on top of it all so let's go ahead and put this on and I'll be okay, right okay I'm gonna go ahead and bronze and try to fix this horribleness that I'm seeing here and hope that bronzing can bring back some color <laughs> And match up my um self tanner a little bit better oh my goodness it's so crazy so like if you ever have um, a foundation that's too light you know bronzing it definitely it definitely saves the situation so go ahead and bronze start little because you could definitely get it carried away and then you end up looking crazy so definitely start little oh my god this bronzer smells so good I was not always like a fan of coconut, but um, yeah, I am so a fan now. I think we changed our likes throughout the years because things I did not like then I love now. Go, go figure. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, use some contour from Wet n Wild. This is like my favorite contour ever. Like, it's the perfect color for for my complexion and for many actually. Because I've seen many, many use this one, and this one is Dulce de Leche. And so I do it simple as that. Then, um, if I notice that, where is it? Here we go. That I went too low, I just grab like a brush that I use for setting my powder, and I just cut in and fix it up and if it's too much you can use this as well and fix that up okay we're gonna go into blush i'm, gonna try, I'm trying to make this video short i'm trying to make my video shorter 
Um, going into the Catrice, this is Baby Doll. This was like one of my favorites, as you could tell, kind of. I'm dug in there. Um, I used to love this because it's, it's such a cheap brand, but they are really, really good. And it's they got different colors, so I just like this one because I like a little more natural type um, of blush. <laughs> I'm going a little heavy for the camera pushes, okay? This is like one of my favorite illuminators, I guess it's called. It's on um, the Ambient Luminous Light from um, Hourglass. And I just like going like just right over the cheekbones and, and my nose. Oh, I forgot to contour my nose. It just adds a light, like sheen, more natural. Um, I usually use this if I don't want to go ham on my highlighter. I tend to use this and it's so nice. Okay, let's contour my nose. Where did you go? Everybody has like little brushes. I tend to just squeeze my brush <laughs> and do this. And I've used little brushes, but I, I forget which one I use. So then, um, I end up just going back to my faithful um, way of doing this and it works and then I just kind of brush down just to make it a little more seamless to say and then before I use the, the hourglass I normally just go with a regular brush like this just to smooth out any harsh edges and then I'll go over the hourglass so okay I did go over my um my brows this is the only thing that I'm not um, using that is affordable. I mean, it's not expensive, but the Urban Decay Brow Blade. <clears throat> I Before I started recording, I, um, I had done my brows. And then I was like, wait, I should make everything affordable. So this is the only thing that isn't like super cheap, but this is definitely worth it. Um, I like the way it leaves my brows. You can, um, you can make them more intense or more light. I try to make them light, but sometimes, you know, it just gets a little me okay so then I just try to brush out as much as I can and and that's that all right so we're gonna go ahead and start working into eyes with this palette and I'm gonna zoom through it so that way um once again the video isn't long so let's <laughs>
so this is my finished look guys um i went ahead and i put some some lashes <laughs> some lashes this is from shop miss a these are dollar lashes um this one's called luella and it's such a pretty lash it's very wispy and playful but yet you can still see the color um behind them which is great i had a little problem with some glue with it sticking here so now i have this tough little part and then it fell on here and yeah disaster but i went in with the lipstick which i thought this is called brunch this this is their liquid matte lipstick um it looked more in the pinkish you know nude type and honestly it's not it's more of a peachy brownish type tone i did not use a lip liner um so if i want to tweak this up to match up a little bit more in, in the pink obviously you try to add like a pink liner or brown liner kind of tends to move for this one i would definitely do a bit of a, a, a pink one like doll parts from jeffree stars it's really the only one that i think that i own that is in the pink department or even a little burgundy one could tweak it up a little bit for you and darken it um other than that it's a very comfortable um okay yeah no i was like is it transfer um it's very comfortable for being a matte it feels very nice um obviously mattes most of them feel great in the beginning and then later on they like go to another world of oh my god this is cracking or, or shedding and it's not not pretty, not pretty the shadows i love them um this color actually matches up pretty well with this one right here uh, ring light with this one right here so it kind of makes the look go together a little bit not too bad but this palette i do enjoy um some of the palettes from makeup revolution are hit and miss so definitely look at reviews and stuff like that so that way you know exactly if you want to go for that that's what i did i did have two other palettes from them i think one was mermaid and the other one i forgot what it was called but i gave them out because they were not very pigmented um so I hope it worked for, for for the ones that I gave it out. And you know what? I wonder if I still have one in the bag to give to my best friend. I'm not sure. But I will check that out. Other than that, guys, this is the look. Um, the foundation. You know, it, it, it looks very flawless here. It doesn't look bad. Um, maybe it's the color and I just need to let it sit. It's only been on my face for like 45 minutes. So I'm going to let it sit. Whatever I think about it, I'm going to go ahead and put it in the description below. So that way you know how I, how I, if I enjoyed it or not. Like right now, it doesn't look bad, um, but it's not one of my favorites. So the concealer, wherever it's at, I have no idea. It, it, there's a huge mess in front of me guys like a huge yeah i think it's one of those things that probably fail anyway the concealer i'm not too fond you could still see my um darkness unless i stand in a certain way so that part mm, i'd rather stick to my shape 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 tape shape tape or elf elf is actually my top favorite right now um i haven't been using it because i've been trying to finish the tart and then i'm moving back to that one it's really good so if you want something affordable and great it's good this one from Catrice the camouflage is pretty good as well but elf if you have dark circles like me it's great and don't forget to always use a corrector um this one from LA girl is my top favorite I tried many but this one has worked for me so those two combined great everything else will be listed below i hope you all have a great rest of your day and week and weekend whatever time it is don't forget to hit like and don't forget to hit the little notification bell so you're notified when i upload next other than that don't forget that if you're having a negative moment in your life it will change look at me i'm having a plumbing issue but i know that will eventually get fixed and we'll see the sun at the end where are you where are you? <laughs> okay, it's coming. All right, guys, take care. So, it's not bad. It's not bad. I love the palette. That didn't happen. Cut. Don't use. I, I, I finally got to editing. So, this is. Okay, cut. Don't use.